For America's wounded warriors, leaving the hospital is the start of a long recovery. But Chip Reed tells us some veterans have found the journey is shorter with a visit to some healing waters. On the Potomac River, just outside Washington, D.C., two kayakers were in search of the adrenaline rush that comes from surfing a whitewater wave. <laughs> you might not have guessed that 21-year-old Todd Love in the front seat was a triple amputee. Love, a U.S. Marine, lost both legs and one arm just over a year ago when he stepped on an improvised explosive device in Afghanistan. His father carried him to the river and an instructor placed him in the kayak. He attached a prosthetic arm, and when he entered the water, he was transformed. When I'm in the kayak, it definitely makes me feel free. Um, it's something about being on the water. It's just, it's, it's good therapy. The organization that provides this opportunity is called Team River Runner. The instructors are all volunteers. Team River Runner started small about seven years ago with just a few kayakers out here on the Potomac River. But in recent years, with so many injured veterans coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan, it's grown quickly. There are now chapters in more than two dozen states. Many of the instructors are also injured veterans, including Jared Bolheis. Team River Runner is what gave me my life back. You know, it got me. It gave me a purpose again. Bolheis returned from Afghanistan in 2009 with post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury after a 500-pound bomb blew up next to his armored vehicle. Couldn't go to restaurants with friends. I couldn't go out. I was more or less confined to my own little world. I couldn't get out of it. The chance to help his fellow veterans changed everything. When I'm with the other one veterans, when I'm teaching, I'm alive. There's nothing better in the world than to take someone who thinks they've had everything stripped from them, that they're never going to lead a functional life again, and to teach them a whole new skill. Joe Mornini, a high school teacher who founded Team River Runner, said nothing gives him more joy than watching people like Todd Love rediscover their confidence. You can't even tell he's disabled when he's out there in that Isn't that kayak. awesome? It's Isn't that what it's all about? I mean, the whole thing is, is, to, is they're not disabled, they're enabled. Love said his success at kayaking has him looking for new challenges. I want to go skydiving soon. It sh shouldn't be a problem to do that. Shouldn't be a problem for a U.S. Marine with an unquenchable thirst for adventure. Chip Reed, CBS News, Glen Echo, Maryland.